So NBA 2K21 is out. Well, it's out for me because I got the game early. But by the time this video comes out, everyone will have the game. But I got my hands on the game early by being on Xbox and finessing the time to where I live in New Zealand. So I was able to play the game early and so were a lot of people that took advantage. And there was lots to talk about. Such as the fact that shooting, man. It seems like everyone is a Ben Simmons. And by the way, I'm a Sixers fan. I'm allowed to make that joke. But man, I was watching streams and it is brutal. Like no one can buy a shot. Like I was watching for hours. No one could make a damn shot. I get everyone 60 overalls. New match, but it, was just, it was pretty funny. And there are some people saying that they have gold range extender. And their shooting attributes are up. Yet they still can't buy a shot. So is shooting that tough? Or are people that bad? I don't know. I didn't play a park game yet. But it's pretty crazy. Although there are a lot of positives about 2K21 thus far. I see a lot of YouTubers giving lots of praise to 2K for how perfect the launch was. Yeah, I get it. The neighborhood. We got a new neighborhood. It's nice. We're going to get to that later. And no rep freezing like last year. No, my players getting deleted like 2K18. Like, that's a W. But there were some big problems, such as people that were the Mamba Edition, such as myself. Now, I did not. Well, I got the game early. Now, I did get the game early. It's not midnight on my time. So maybe this will change at midnight. But for now, I didn't get my pre order bonuses. So, let me just show you guys real quick. Alright, so I ordered the Mamba edition of NBA 2K21. And what was supposed to come with that was 100k VC, a bunch of skill boosts, and Gatorade. Do you see any skill boosts and Gatorade boosts? Look at my VC when I try to upgrade my player. 59 VC. Do you see my 100k VC? And the worst part is, now... I finessed the system. This is me on 2K21 on the New Zealand time. I got four I was supposed to. So perhaps when it's midnight my time, I'll have my pre-order bonuses. But it's still whacked. I don't have my bonuses when I did pre-order the game and I'm on the game. And plus, I'm not even getting VC for the my career games that I'm playing. And I'm in the NBA now as a 61 overall. And I don't want to play in the NBA and mess up my hot zones. So I'm just going to wait till midnight and hope that I can get my rewards. And you know I can at least buy myself some VC. But 2k. If this is just some glitch. Where some people aren't getting their VC then. I don't know how you guys can mess that up. Like how can the pre-order bonuses not be there. Am I even going to get 2k21 on next gen. But in spite of the gameplay. And all that stuff with 2K and their pre-order bonuses not working. The big talk seems to be the neighborhood. And I want to know, do you guys think it's a W, L, or N? I mean, I think it's a W, but the layout is very different. So I thought I would show you guys what the neighborhood is looking like and where everything is. Because, like I said, the layout is a little different and I don't want you guys... Going where the hell is stage, where the hell is rack. So, here you go. Here we are, the 2K21 current gen neighborhood. Look at this, we got six 3v3 courts, beautiful layout. The twos court, no longer in the middle and in the way. Twos court over here, nice and isolated. I like this layout a lot. You know what I like most about this? There are no stairs. There are no stairs in the middle of the neighborhood setting platinum brick wall screens on our asses. So now we can just go court to court with no resistance. Big W2K just for getting rid of the stairs. I don't know why a lot of people are hating on this neighborhood. This neighborhood's nice. I mean grinding DF and all the no lice. I know you guys are hype about this 2K beach. We got that virtual sun. These courts, you know, they're not bad looking but... Why do these courts always got to be kind of dirt? There's got to be some kind of dirt on them. Not all of them do. I think the twos courts actually look the best. 
you know, looking good on the boardwalk at the Ferris wheel. Give me 2K1617 Old Town vibes. I mean, look at this. Now, I gotta say this. There is not a boardwalk on the planet that is this perfect. Like, there's always going to be a, a whole bunch of planks just popping out and whatnot. Here's the cages, man. I know comp cage players. Let's take a look in here real quick. Oh, I got dashboarded. I love this game. Alright, so I keep trying to get in the cages, but I keep getting dashboard for some reason. You know, 2K is just amazing. So, comp cage players, I'm sorry, you might get dashboard like 10 times before you can actually get in there. But I did get in there once off camera. It's basically the same cages, slightly different coloring. So, yeah. But, a lot of you are going to hop on this game, and you're going to want to go to Rec, pro -Am, Stage, the My Court. But, this neighborhood, it's pretty big. And it's different, the layout's different from the other neighborhoods that we got in, in the past. You know, 18, 19, slash 20, you know, two different neighborhoods. But this layout is different, like I said. So I feel like it is my duty to give you guys a neighborhood tour and basically explain everything there is to know about this new neighborhood. So the boost bar, you know, as soon as you spawn to your right, here we are. Get your boost statue all isolated. But your boost right here. And you know, we got Swags, Pro AM, uh, the NBA store. And then you go down the block. You can't go past this railing. So, yeah. Well, you can go past a little, some of the rail, but not this, not this far. The rec center is right here, you know, you go down the street, make a turn, and there we are. We got the rec center for you, rec center players. Apologies for the notification. And here is the 2K shoe store right across from the rec center, formerly known as Foot Locker, but I guess Foot Locker and 2K ended their partnership. The team practice facility right down the block. I play for the Miami Heat. You play for whoever you want. Tattoo shop right here, right after the practice facility. And across is the arcade. Let's actually take a look at the arcade. This so here we are in the arcade. Man, it is packed in here. You can't even see my player at first. There are four daily spins in here. I did mine earlier. One 500 VC. I want you all to see this. Why? All right. We need one where the wheel's actually still. Alright, this one's about to be still. Notice how the VC, the boost, the Gatorade, they're all blank. Why? The VC I now know is 500, but how much Gatorade are we getting? How many boosts are we getting? Can someone let me know if they want any of them? Like, why is everything blank? Were we costing 2k too much money by winning 1500 VC in the other game on that daily spin? I don't know, man. That's weird. But, in here we got the mini basketball, the daily pickums, you know, 2K claims it's the off season. In spite of the fact we're in the playoffs, I mean, I guess us winning VC off daily pickums is really hurting 2K's pockets. But, here's the elite wheel, you know, everything's blank once again, but bonus is in the game. In the trailer, it was showing no bonus for reasons unknown, but we do have bonus in the game. So, that is a W, thank God. Getting rid of bonuses, just, that wouldn't have been it. But here are more daily spins in here. Alright, so I guess there's six of them. But, right here in the middle is a bunch of newly added games that we can't even play. Why even add these if we can't play them? It makes no sense. But, making sense was never exactly 2K's thing. So, when you get out the arcade, directly across is... The tattoo shop. So all you guys that like to drench yourselves in tar. Here's your house. Right here. So. You go further down. You know we got docks. In the wheels place. For your skateboards, bikes. And any of y'all even buy them. I don't know. I had a skateboard last year. Will I get a skateboard this year? Maybe. I don't know. But. 
there you have it for what it's worth. You can see I was already in docks, got my beer, my blonde dreadlocks back. Here's the Gatorade training facility. It is exactly the same as it was in 2K19 and 2K20. And all the way down the street is my team with a bunch of restaurants and like all that that you can't even go into. And if you ever feel useless, just know that there are no parking signs and speed limit signs in this neighborhood where you never see vehicles. So, just know that. But, right here in this alley, uh, not this alley, but when you go out the arcade, oh, I, I almost skipped VC Management. VC Management is right here, right next to the Gatorade facility. It's closed for me, I don't have any endorsements. I just got in the NBA, I got done with college, high school, I might have mentioned that earlier, I don't know, we'll see. But, in this alley, by the arcade, is the stage. And the stage is looking like a flop. I mean, the look, it's very similar to 2K18. Let's just take a look, let me show y'all. So here is the stage where the highest amount of VC you can put online is 2,500. I'm gonna guess that people are stricking it up, man, and they are costing 2K money, man. 2K breaks all these records, yet they keep lowering the VC we can make and win, but they bump up the VC prices for, you know, buying VC, for clothes, for attributes, etc. 2K just be finessing us out of our pockets, but luckily, I'm a content creator, I can make the money back. I right, listen, I think if you're not a content creator or a streamer, you should not play this game. I'm dead, or a pro player. I'm dead serious. Because casuals, y'all are getting finessed, and this ain't cool. And I might have heard my chance of getting a logo in the future, but I don't care. So, yeah, 2K, stop trying to finesse. I give you props, I give you credit words too. I mean, this furniture is a W. We should be allowed to sit on the furniture, by the way. Imagine the skits we could record. You know how GTA has the Rockstar editor? Imagine if we had 2K editor, man. We could make our own little movies, bro. But stage, it looks kind of nice. You know, it's okay. The 1v1 core, it's only 250, man. Like, what is up with that, man? 2,500? You can't even get us a 5K? I mean, maybe 10K was OD, but we could have gotten a 5K core, 2K. Just saying. So as soon as you enter the stage, I mean, leave the stage, right to your right, we got the Kobe Memorial. This is beautiful. The art. Whoever made it, I don't... I'm sure y'all know who made it. I don't know who made it. But big W for this. RIP Kobe. RIP GG. RIP to the other victims of that crash. And my heart goes out to those affected by the crash. I mean, uh, to this day, man, it still doesn't feel real, man. Kobe. I used his free throw on this game. And, you know, in real life, you know, Kobe's an inspiration, man. Like, he's just... He was a walking winner, bro. You know, he lived life the way you're supposed to live life, man. And Kobe inspires me on this grind that I'm on right now, man. So, you know, I'm still saddened by Kobe not being here, man. Still has to feel real. It, yeah. So, once you go around the corner from that, and you make a left right after... Oh, stop. How's, how's this a dead end? <laughs> how's this a dead end? I can just walk. Uh, hello? <laughs> but right here, we got the My Court open house. So, you're going to notice no elevator. So, there's no extra loading screen. You know, you just hit My Court, and then you just load right into the My Court. That is a W, 2 okay? I give you all that. That's a W. But I got to say, F in the chat for the homie Spinelli. Guess he couldn't make it this year. But, here we are, in the My Court. Now, I gotta be real, it's kinda dull. We got the same exact My Court, and I never even liked this court to begin with. It's just a boring court. I don't like the way the lights reflect. Very distracting. Can hurt the eyes a little bit. Furniture, eh. It's just, I don't know, man. To me, it's kinda ugly. There's no upstairs, it's just... You couldn't even go upstairs anyway, but the fact that it was... Like, imagine being limited in the place that you live. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But the furniture is exactly the same. You know, it covers all different. To me, it's kind of ugly. 
I don't really dig it. Maybe y'all dig it. I don't know if there's going to be an Elite Penthouse again. Maybe this is the Elite Penthouse. I don't know. But I ain't checked. So let's just get right on my out of here. So that's pretty much it for the neighborhood tour. And me just giving my thoughts, first impressions. I didn't play a park game yet, you know. I'm not going to play as a 61 overall with little badges when the highest rep is an 80 overall paint beast pro 2 who probably has a lot of badges. You know, I'm not, you know, I just don't want an excuse. You know what I mean? I don't want to lose someone and be like, oh, if I had my overall, if I had my badges, you know, I don't want to be at this event. It's not about having an advantage over the people that don't have the luxury of grinding like me, but I don't want to be at a disadvantage and lose and have an excuse. You know, I don't like excuses, so there's that. So, personally, I think this neighborhood right here is a W as far as how it looks. No one being at the beach, you know, that's kind of unrealistic, but whatever. But it looks nice. The layout's not bad. The stage, the, the lower the prices, VC price going up. May not get my VC right away, despite the pre-order. I mean, may it all change at midnight, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this neighborhood? What do you guys think of NBA 2K21? Is it a W, L, or N? Make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and make sure you follow me on Twitch. I stream daily, and this is my fourth day in a row uploading. Should I just daily upload at least for the month? I haven't had daily uploads for a month since 2K16, so yeah, let me know. But I'm out. Hey.